Aquarius Moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here in beautiful Sydney, Australia. We're at Balmoral Beach today. The sun has started to go down. So I watch the sun in the evening. Oh, it's beautiful out there. I don't know if these colors are coming up on the camera, but it's quite pink. Pink and blues is, oh, it's stunning. Um, I saw the sun come from there. It's dipped down behind that horizon line. So as a result, I've had to put on my warm clothes just to rug up here. It's getting a bit cold and it is getting a bit dark. So I'm going to have to go quickly here. Uh, but let's get into it. So for every single sign, I'm looking at two things in particular. We're looking at past and we're looking at the future. So let's take a look at the future opportunity first. So Mars Rahu sharing Gemini from 7th May 2019 to 22nd June 2019. And that's happening in your sixth house. So, oh, hang on a minute. No, my apologies, Aquarius Moon. Did I say your sixth house? I'm going to say all of that again because I just flicked the screen by accident. Mars Rahu sharing Gemini 7th May 2019 to 22nd June 2019. That's happening in your fifth house. Okay, we got it. Um, this could be a time of, so yeah, future related, but it could be a time of stress or feeling restless, right? You have energy in this house. And there is a possibility though that you can reinvent your creativity in some way. So that's the future opportunity, right? So this is not particularly a time to be creative or to be doing creative things, but it's a time to be strategizing. It's a time to be organizing. It's a time to be thinking about what it is you'd love to do, okay? So another part of this transit is that children's health may not be great if you have children. Uh, your health may not be great, right? So you might wanna slow down a bit. Um, it's definitely a time to reinvent your health regime and those of your children too, right? The other thing is that when you're strategizing about your creativity, you can be thinking about where are you creative right now? How can you find more time to be more creative? What does creativity mean to you? Okay, these are the things to be contemplating and that topic of creativity is one of the big, big, big topics that I'm absolutely crazy about and I hope to create more content on this channel talking about that very subject. Um, creativity is very, very close to my heart. And um, I think that every single person on the planet is creative and can be more creative. I, I'm big on that topic. So I, as part of your future opportunity, be thinking about your creativity and, um, and how, how that is in your life and how you can possibly be more creative. The past that you're gonna have to deal with Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio till 8 July. Okay, so retrograde. What happens with a retrograde? Sometimes we're dealing with some past or we're dealing with something we've already done or we're dealing with it again. Okay, so for you, this is a really good transit. It's happening in your 10th house. This is great. This is great for your spirituality. Great to be a bit of a hermit. Interesting. And you know, creativity and the hermit thing really goes well together. So this is quite beautiful contemplate what's important to you. You'll be covering old ground in terms of your career or spirituality. So think back to just this year, January, Feb, March, those three months might be repeating themselves in some way. Okay, so you might be covering back some old ground again. And next door to your 10th house, we've got Saturn K is still conjunct. Uh, so through old things, new light is coming through. Look out for new illumination through group or peer interactions. Okay, and Possibly new illumination through your hopes, dreams, and wishes. You know, what do you dream and wish for? Um, maybe some new illumination will come there. Maybe, maybe there'll be some change around what you desire and what you wish for. That could be amazing, actually. I've seen that happen within me and within my life as I age, you know. I wish for new things as I get older and as I know more things and as I mature. So Aquarius Moon, I'm going to leave you with that. I want to thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?